What's up guys, welcome to Wasted Space and we're back in Space Engineers with another episode of Building on the Basics. Now today I want to cover a specific script by Seoxonic, which is reasonably small and simple but can make certain jobs a lot lot easier. So first I'm going to show you how to make use of this script and then I've got a couple of examples of other ways in which it could be helpful. So what we have here is not a new ship by any means, but it was a prime candidate for a bit of conversion to this script. And what this script enables you to do is set timers in intervals of less than a second. So you're aware, probably, that timers can only currently, if we go in here and into the control panel, be set in intervals of a second. So the smallest possible unit you can have is one second. And there are times where that is actually kind of restrictive, especially you don't necessarily need less than a second, but there are times where maybe you want 3.5 seconds instead of three, and the game will not allow you to have it. So what this little script does is enable you to get more precise control over your timers. So the first thing we're going to do, let me go into first person, is we're going to build in here the bits we need to convert this ship over to using those sort of timers instead. So what all we're really going to need is a single timer block and a programming block. So let's put those down now, one up there and a programming block on the ceiling, and we can dive back into the cockpit. And before I do anything, I'll just quickly show you the fire rate of this currently, because that's what we're going to be doing is making it shoot quicker. So if I press 3 to build this, you'll see it builds and then releases, and it'll build and then release, which is you know, decent. It's worked very nicely as a weapon for me so far, but it could be quicker. So what we're going to do now is set up this particular program. The first thing we need to do is find that timer block we placed, and we're going to rename that to Precise Timer, just so that we know what it is. And in this timer, we're going to put two things. We're going to put the programming block we put down, set to Run, and we're going to put that precise timer that we just made, this timer itself, set to trigger now. That's all we need in here, and then we need to go up to the programming block and get the scripts. Now, I'm going to put a link to the workshop down below so that you guys can have this in here as well, but once you've downloaded it, it will appear in your browse workshop list, and it's this precise timer's frame by frame. You just need to click check code and remember an exit. And then that's that side of things set up. All we need to do now is tell it which timers we want to work like this. So in this case, there's only actually two timers on the vessel. There's the weld timer and the release timer, and both of them could do with being quicker. So what we're going to do is just put the, word, the letters ADV into both of these timers. And what that makes them now do is this number here is no longer a second. That number is now a frame, and there are 60 frames in every second. So we've essentially gone down by another unit. These are sort of another unit smaller, and what we can now do. so. To get the same time as we currently have, this would need to be set to 60. But that's not obviously going to improve the shooting at all, so what we're going to use instead is 30. So we're going to set both of these delays to 30, and these numbers can be anything up to essentially a minute, the number of frames that would fill a minute. So you've got quite a bit of control in there, but there are a few limitations. But you can imagine, so 300, 300 frames would be the equivalent to 6 seconds, for example. And that is literally all we need to do, other than go down to the precise timer and click, tr click Trigger Now. And what that does is just start the script from running. So everything is now running on this ship. And if we go back outside, pick a camera view that's not going to block my view this time. And you can see if we press 3, you see how much quicker that is now firing because of those timers? Now, one thing it does do, as you can see here, and I can't work out why this is, is get stuck. That's something to do, I think, just with the volume of objects that this thing is throwing out. It eventually messes itself up. So that's how to go about applying it to a ship, but now let's go and have a look at a couple of other examples of things you can do with this script. So over here I have a hangar set up, and the hangar is set up in such a way that we've got a tray inside that comes out for the ship to land on, as well as the doors opening up. So let's just hit the button here, and you'll see that the airtight doors open up nicely, and then just as they're getting to the point where they're fully opened, the tray itself, whatever you want to call this landing platform would probably be a better word, comes out perfectly timed with when the doors open, and vice versa, it will do exactly the same thing in reverse. And this is done, again, with these advanced timers, and it would not be possible to do this without the timers. So let me just wait until that's finished shutting, so you see that closes in, and literally as it arrives shut, the doors close. And if we go into the menu here, we can see down the bottom, same sort of setup, a couple of ones with the ADV at the end and our precise timer. And these are set to values like, I mean, that would be 8 seconds and 20 frames rather than 8 minutes and 20 seconds. And the same with this, that's 6 seconds, 40 frames. So that's one basic example. Well, let's go and have a look at a slightly more complex one. <clears throat> and to start off this complex one, we're actually going to kick off with the first of the Kill My Ship entries. 
And here we have an Invigorator class Corvette from the Alaskan. Pretty much the first one that got stuck up on the workshop and I'll do a few flyby shots as I talk about this but I really really like the design here. There's a bit of aesthetic stuff going on but then there's a lot of functional stuff going on as well. And just the odd feature that I think is very cool such as the use of control panels actually as a design feature rather than as control panels. And inside really compact, really nice layout, looks the absolute business. But unfortunately the whole point of bringing this along is for us to do some damage to it. So down here in the hands of my lovely assistant in this case, Sioxanik, is another example of how these precise timers can be applied. So there he is down there, and he's going to jump in and show us this turret in action. And this turret has a bit of a special feature. So I'm going to rotate it round and take a fire up at the Invigorator class up there. And as you can see, this has been set up with those precise timers to do a full barrage of rockets. Now, yes, it's, it's not in the slightest bit practical in that this is a standard rocket launcher setup but it's an example of what you can do with these precise timers that wouldn't be possible otherwise and you can see on the back here exactly what's going on there and how this there's no way any of this could take place in that second gap that the current timers allow so there you go there's a few examples of things you can do with this particular script and i do like this implementation here with the barrage cannon let's go and have a quick look at the invigorator and how it stood up to the barrage which i would imagine is pretty pretty well it's very heavily armored although with that many rockets it has taken a bit of a beating looks like looks like it might no, actually no i think we're out of we're not out of power so it probably still move might not fly quite as well as it did but stood up well to the punishment so there you go, guys. Hope you like this sort of idea, this script in particular as well. Don't forget that Seoxonix creation, so make sure you give him some love as usual. If you did like it and did find it useful, please hit like, please hit subscribe. really helps me in the channel out. And otherwise, thanks a lot for watching. I'll catch you next time.